So we've just finished Harrison's swimming lesson and for the first time ever he went for a whole lesson without crying. Hi guys, I hope you're all okay. So it's Monday morning and it's pretty early. Um, Harrison is just down for his first nap of the day and I'm just snuggled up on the sofa waiting for him to wake up. I am off to my mum's this morning because I need to go and finish my tax. Um, I didn't manage to finish it last week because I needed a couple more documents and yeah, so I'm going to go and finish that this morning and then I need to finish editing my vlog. I am going to go and continue getting ready, I need to put some of the stuff by the door ready to whiz out when Harrison wakes up, so yeah, I will see you in a bit. I also need to go to the post office today because I need to send a couple of things back and I also need to send off Harrison's passport. We had his photos done on Friday I believe and he is so cute. I'm really surprised that he looked at the camera, although I guess he is kind of used to it by now. Um, Oh, he's so cute. Hey. Hi guys, I hope you're okay. So it is Wednesday morning and I am just getting ready, just finishing up my makeup. Harrison is in his jumper room here. Say hello, Harrison. Say hello. Um, he's just had his breakfast and yeah, we're just getting ready because we have sensory today. So I'm just finishing getting ready and we shall be on our way. I think it's Teddy Bear's picnic today, which is quite cute. We're actually going to walk to sensory today, which, you know, is kind of out there for me. I'm very close with my car, um, but I have decided that I'm going to kind of try and be a little bit more active. Um, I actually went for a run well a walk run walk run walk run um the other evening because i weighed myself in the daytime and that was it hit home that i needed to work out somehow and lose a couple of stone to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight it's gonna be hard work but we'll get there i'm sure and um, mike and i have been eating healthily anyway for the last couple of weeks so we're going to continue that and I think I'm just going to go for a run a few times a week and I'm also looking into joining a local gym. So yeah, I'm going to go and get dressed now. I don't even know how we got onto the whole fitness, weight loss thing. I need to go and get dressed and get out of my granny pyjamas which Mike laughs at. Um, I love them, they are so comfortable. I actually lived in this night shirt when I was pregnant. Um, but yeah, I'm still living in it. Life is far too short to wear uncomfortable things to bed. I am all for the slouchy clothes and the giant granny pyjamas, I'm afraid. There is no glamour here. I definitely picked the worst kind of day to walk. It's drizzly and it's rainy and windy and cold and I have got the rain cover and I'm wearing Uggs. Um, purely because it's that cold. Typical that Harrison falls asleep about two minutes before we get there. Oh dear. I'm just on my way home now from sensory and I'm just trying to keep Harrison awake in the pram he's like keeps dozing off um because I want him to sleep when we get in and we're like four minutes away so Harrison the wheels on the bus go round down rapidly okay um yeah Harrison
So, hello, it is Friday morning. Say good morning, it's Friday. No. Touch your nose. Three times. So Harrison ended up napping for about three hours. Um, but we're in the car now and we've just got to my mum's and we're off shopping. I'm kind of excited. I really want to spend some money. And also Harrison has some money and some vouchers that I might have to get him some new things with. Does that sound like fun? <laughs> Tuesday morning really sorry that yesterday I didn't get to finish my vlog I had the ultimate camera fail the battery on my camera died the battery on my GoPro died and of course with an iPhone my iPhone died as well so it was ultimate fail which is such a shame because I really wanted to vlog I um, picked up a few things whilst I was shopping and I also met a subscriber which was really lovely even if my mum and I were in the middle of a little mother-daughter tiff over who was gonna pay um, but yeah, it was so lovely to meet you, so thank you so, so, so much for saying hello. It really was so nice to meet you, and my mum was made up, so. But I think I am going to go out shopping again, because yesterday we got a new pram for Harrison, so I'm so excited to go and push him out in that. So, yeah, I'm kind of trying to rush getting ready and get him fed and changed and sorted, just so that I can get out and push him around in his new pram because surprisingly the second pram is just as exciting as the first and I can't wait. Floor one. Doors open. Going down. So I'm baby free and I am extremely tired but I need to transform myself because I'm off to the Real Techniques launch this evening so here goes. So halfway through doing my makeup and I have just realised that the bag that I gave over with Harrison to my dad has all of the stuff that I need in it for uh, has all of the stuff that I need in it for tonight uh, uh, and I'm literally running out of time I think I'm just gonna have to leave my hair like take it down and just let it be its natural rained on self oh my god you run over to my mum and dad's even though it might take ages and try and get my stuff back did it yes and i'm ready i can't believe that i actually made it on time and i'm all ready i can't believe it so i made it out of the house and it is so so freezing um i wish i'd worn a hat and maybe slightly warmer jacket but hey I don't even know if I said where I was going I'm off to the Real Techniques event this evening for the new Bold Metals collection oh my god it's so cold um just on top of the bridge waiting for Sabrina at Blackfriars and it is so windy and so so cold and she said that she's halfway across the bridge but she might be saying a little porky because I can't see her. She's here! Yeah. There's some family here and it's just great to see you all. Um, Let's just talk through the brushes really quickly. So, uh, we've got the new brushes. So I just got at the train station and my dad's come to pick me up. How magical! Yeah. 
this might be a really, really daft question, but is it normal that rain should come down a chimney? Because it is, and I'm really cold, and it's, oh, I feel like that shouldn't happen. Like, shouldn't there be, like, a filter or something? Hmm, I'm not sure on this. Also, my hands in here. I'm cold. So last time you saw me, I was cuddled up in this jumper on my sofa, moaning that there was rain coming down the chimney. So I decided to wake Harrison up from what ended up being a three hour nap, which is insane. And we are in the car going over to my mum and dad's because I need some tea and I need some genuine warmth. So I took Harrison to get weighed this morning and he is now 19 pounds two, which I believe is pretty heavy for a six month old baby however he has just grown really tall he's lost a lot of his chubbiness actually but because obviously he's got taller that means you've got a weight too so yeah he is perfectly healthy and happy and so am i with a woof woof here and a woof woof there here a woof there a woof everywhere a woof woof yeah a woof woof Oh, you put your dummy in, you don't want to sing. Alright. It's snowing! Yes! Snow is exciting for like the first couple of minutes and then you realise that actually we're still really cold and it's getting really heavy. And I'm in Audi getting baby wipes. Woohoo! <laughs> So Harrison now plays on his own, like really contently, happily, um, long enough for me to make breakfast, a cup of tea and make a nice juice. So new mums, there is light at the end of the tunnel, don't worry, you will get your time back, I promise. You maybe won't get time to do your hair, however, who cares about hair when you can get breakfast? <laughs> So it is Friday and we have just got in from Baby Explorers and I am so so tired but I'm going to go and have a coffee because this evening Harrison and I are off to Hannah's house, she is having a little gathering, Mike is out tonight so I'm just going to go along with Harrison and um, I know that ideally he should be in bed but we're only going to go for a couple of hours and he gets to see his little friend Grayson so yeah they can play together and hopefully I can just have a catch up with the girls and yeah I'm really really looking forward to it Um, I think I'm going to have a coffee and a quick shower because I need to freshen up a little bit because I am covered in all sorts um, I won't even go there but yeah I'm a bit grim at the moment I'm sure I will vlog there because I'm sure everybody else will be vlogging so yeah the light has just changed and I can see how red my eyes are honestly my eyes feel so dry and tired but I can't nap even though I'm laying in my bed right now I just I can't even though the temptation is really really there um I can't because I probably won't want to wake up and I have a baby to look after and I need to go out like I would be really annoyed at myself if I don't make it tonight because I need to go out and see my friends and do something for me in the evenings even if I have got Harrison with me I don't mind having Harrison with me at all but yeah I don't know I just need to get out of the bloody house um but yeah, my hair is so greasy too. I think we're going to have to dry shampoo it, which I hate doing. So we made it out of the house and I did manage to shower. However, I didn't quite manage to touch my makeup up or touch my makeup up. That sounds really pervy. I didn't, I didn't manage to touch up my makeup or nor did I manage to do my hair. But you know what? I'm out the door. I'm going. That is a big enough achievement as a mum right now, so. Also them green dots are back. What are these? I have no idea. All the light 
lights in my car are like orangey and like pink. I don't have any green. Probably dangerous to look around, so I'll just leave it. I have green dots on my chin. I'm really confused what they are though. Driving this way always reminds me of when I used to go over to Mike's house like 10 years ago because he used to live over this way. He doesn't obviously anymore. I live with him. But I have... Oh gosh, that is bright. Um, okay, let me not blind you. I have very vivid memories of like getting the bus over here when I was like 16 and I probably should have been in college. Um, sorry mum, sorry dad. And then when I was 17 and then obviously driving over here with my little KA. Oh, so many memories, although they seem like ages ago. I guess they were ages ago, that's like 10 years ago now. Oh gosh, I'm getting ancient. Say that seems like ages ago, but actually, does it? I don't know. I think that 10 years has gone pretty quick. Um, but here's to the next 10 years, I guess. Way, soppy, soppy. We finally made it from what seems like going around in about a million circles because I couldn't find Hannah's road. Two, step, tickly under there. Oh, oh my.